House Democrats will subpoena disgraced former White House aide Rob Porter to investigate whether he saw Donald Trump commit obstruction of justice The House Judiciary Committee will subpoena former White House Staff Secretary Rob Porter, who was a key witness in Robert Mueller's report Porter was present during several incidents outlined in Mueller's report was in meetings where Trump allegedly tried to have Mueller fired Porter quit his job after DailyMail.com revealed allegations of domestic abuse by two of his former wives House Judiciary Chairman Jerry Nadler is leading the Democrats look into whether or not Trump obstructed justice in regards to Mueller's investigation Nadler wants to talk to Porter about what he saw in the White House by Emily Gooden, use. Political reporter for DailyMail.com published 1520 British Summertime, the 26th of August 2019, updated, 1656 British Summertime, the 26th of August 2019 The House Judiciary Committee will subpoena former White House Staff Secretary Rob Porter, who was a key witness in Robert Mueller's obstruction of justice investigation into Donald Trump Porter, who resigned his administration job last year after DailyMail.com revealed allegations he abused his two ex-wives was present during several incidents of potential obstruction chronicled in Mueller's 448-page report. Democrats, who are pursing Mueller's line of inquiry after Attorney General William Barr declined to pursue obstruction charges against Trump, were eager to talk to Porter, Politico reported. House Democrats will subpoena Rob Porter, who served as Donald Trump's staff secretary and was a key witness in Robert Mueller's report. The two are seen together in August 2017 during Porter's time in the administration. House Judiciary Chairman Jerry Nadler is leading the Democrats' look into whether or not Trump obstructed justice in regards to Mueller's investigation. House Judiciary Chairman Jerry Nadler, who is Leading the party's probe into Trump's actions involving Mueller's report, has said his investigation could lead the panel into voting to begin impeachment proceedings against the president. Porter's testimony could be heavily damaging to Trump given his access to the Oval Office, his constant presence in meetings, and the notes he took on his work, several of which are cited in Mueller's report. The White House is likely to block Porter from complying with the subpoena, as it blocked former White House counsel Don McGahn from testifying, citing executive privilege. McGahn was also present for several episodes in Mueller's report on Russian interference in the 2016 election and whether Trump sought to stymie the special counsel's investigation. Democrats are taking McGahn to court and would likely follow a similar route with Porter, should he not comply. Porter sat for two days of interviews with Mueller's staff during the probe. The former White House staff secretary, in Mueller's report, recalled how the president asked him in whether then-associate attorney general Rachel Brand was, on the team, and interested in becoming attorney general, a move that would give her supervision of Mueller's investigation. Then Attorney General Jeff Session had recused himself from overseeing Mueller, a move that infuriated Trump and put then Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein in charge of the special counsel's office. Porter didn't reach out to Brand but understood the president to want to find someone to end the Russia investigation or fire the special counsel, although the president never said so explicitly. According to Mueller's report, Porter did not contact Brand because he was sensitive to the implications of that action and did not want to be involved in a chain of events associated with an effort to end the investigation or fire the special counsel. The report noted, Porter was also present when Trump lashed out at McGahn for not carrying out his demand to have Mueller fired and was at a December 2017 Oval Office meeting Trump suggested Sessions unrecuse himself from overseeing Mueller investigation. Rob Porter, seen in the White House with President Trump in 2017, controlled the paperwork to and from the Oval Office Rob Porter was heavily favored by then-Chief of Staff John Kelly, who initially defended him after DailyMail.com revealed allegations from Porter's ex-wives, the two men are seen preparing to board Marine One in November 2017 Additionally, Mueller's probe found several instances where Porter didn't carry out or thwarted Trump's commands. As Staff Secretary, Porter had unusual power in the White House, controlling what paperwork reached the president desk and where paperwork from the Oval Office ultimately ended up. He also acted as gatekeeper in terms of who had access to the president. He was heavily favored by then Chief of Staff John Kelly, who initially defended him after DailyMail.com revealed allegations from Porter's two ex-wives that he beat them, with one of them having photos of a black eye she said Porter gave her. Porter denied the allegations but ultimately resigned his White House job. He developed close relationships with White House advisors Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump during his tenure and was dating then White House Communications Director Hope Hicks. Porter dated then White House Communications Director Director Hope Hicks during his time.
In Trump's administration, the two are seen together during Trump's 2017 visit to China. Porter was also close with White House advisors Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump. Porter's ex-wives said they informed the FBI in January 2017 of their allegations of emotional and physical abuse during the Bureau's background check for Porter's security clearance. Porter was working with an interim clearance and handling sensitive information as part of his job. McGahn and Kelly were revealed to have known about the allegations against Porter made to the FBI yet continued to let Porter work at the White House and handle sensitive information. Read more, let's block ads. Why?